Hey guys, Emily from Food Box HQ here. Today we're talking about Misfits Market. Misfits Market is an online marketplace that strives to deliver affordable groceries straight to your door by focusing on ugly produce. So let's see what's in our box. All right, so when you first open up your box, you're gonna see some information. There's gonna be a card telling you about how long each of your different types of produce are gonna last, so refer to that to make sure you're storing things properly. And then they're gonna promote specific products. So right now it's Earth Month, so they're really leaning into sustainable brands so that you can see here, they're highlighting some of those. But now let's see what's actually in the box itself. So we have some zucchini. These look pretty normal to me. I wouldn't say those are misfits. We've got peppers, a bunch of these guys. We have an onion, an avocado, more information here. There's a recipe here, that's cool. Caramelized leeks with pistachio sage vinaigrette. Ooh. More avocados here. You can see some of the produce looks a little bit funny. It might not be the one you grab in the grocery store. This one's a little bit red. Some more potatoes. Then we have strawberries. We've got some, ooh, some blueberries. Got some pantry snacks. We've got chocolate better bars. Looks like we've got a bag of nuts here. We have some Hilo super cheesy. So it's chip, crispy cheddar cheese and almonds, a little snack mix. More trail mix here. We have some butternut squash crackers. And last but not least, it looks like we've got some coffee beans here. So let's get organized and talk about how Misfit Market works. So once you sign up for Misfit, you pick your size of box, and then each week you go onto their marketplace. And based on the size of the box that you've selected, you're given a certain amount of credit, essentially, to their store. Each week you're gonna see different produce based on availability and seasonality. You can then fill up your cart to your credit. So for example, we had about $30 of credit. We then picked all of those different things, filled up our cart, hit that $30 mark, and then you have the option of adding on further. So anything that you wanna add on outside of your credit, you just pay that that difference for that week. So this way, each week, you know that you're guaranteed a certain amount of vegetables or pantry staples. And then outside of that, you can add on as needed. You might be thinking, all right, it's more affordable, but what does that mean about the produce? Before we said that it was more ugly produce or misfit produce, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be bad, right? It's just a little bit different. If you'll take a look at some of the different things that we have, we've got like these blueberries. Opening this up, these aren't moldy, they're not old, they're not mushy, they're nice and firm. It even tastes perfect. Other things to note, for example, this avocado, it's got a little bit of a scar on it, it's a little bit red. It might not be the first one that you grab when you walk into the store, but at the end of the day, it's still a perfect avocado. The other thing we wanna mention, because they're shipping produce and they're also being conscious about the packaging that they're using, you might get some things that come through a little bit dinged. For example, you'll see our zucchini here has a couple of scratches on it, probably from transit, but they do a good job of making sure that everything's nice and safe. You saw when I took out the strawberries and the blueberries, those were wrapped in a little bit of cardboard just to keep them a little bit more secure. Things are going through the mail, so it can get a little bit jostled. You saw that this box was a little bit smushed when it came through, but at the end of the day, it's really not that big of a deal. The other cool thing is that you get to try new stuff like this. Their marketplace isn't gonna be full of big brands. You're not gonna see things like Oreo or Chips Ahoy. You're gonna see more craft style brands and a little bit more of that sort of Whole Foods vibe to it. So for example here, we've got these butternut squash crackers, which is not something that I knew existed, but it's pretty cool. So let's check these out, do a little taste test. Looks a little bit like a Cheez-It. No cheese though, kind of like a wheat thin but a little bit crispier. I really like that texture. Got a really good crunch to it. And even though the box was a little bit smushed, most of these are pretty much whole. They have so much different variety in the marketplace. You can get tons of different pantry staples. They have oils, baking stuff, different types of produce, obviously, and vegetables. But they even have stuff like coffee. You can get whole grains, sorry, whole bean coffee from different people who roast coffees across the country that you might not get exposure to in your own grocery store. So if you're looking for an easy, affordable way to have groceries delivered to your front door, click the link below and check out Misfit Market.